हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलेट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस इज द पार्ट टेन फॉर द गेट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग पेपर एंड इफ यू हैवन चेक द प्रीवियस पार्ट यू कैन चेक द लिंक गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो बिकॉज दे आर गोइंग टू बी वेरी हेल्पफुल इन द एग्जामिनेशन सो टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट द वीडियो बाय कंटिन्यूइंग द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट व्हिच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द पार्ट नाइन सो इफ यू हैवन चेक देन यू शुड चेक दैट वन बिकॉज इट इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ दैट पार्ट वेयर वी हैव डन सम ऑफ द न्यूमेरिकल सम ऑफ द फॉर्मूलाज रिलेटेड टू कैटैन एक्सचेंज कैपेसिटी दैट इज सी सी सो टूडे वी विल नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द कैल्शियम सेचुरेशन सो कैल्शियम सेचुरेशन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज कैल्शियम बेस सेचुरेशन so to find out there is a very very easy formula which i am going to tell you now the formula is calcium that is the milli equivalent per 100 gram of soil the calcium which we have found this is the table which we had used in the previous lesson so it will be the calcium milli equivalent per 100 gram of soil divided by the cc so total cc we had already calculated in the previous video i would like to remind once again that is the addition of base cation plus the exchangeable acidity so here that same cc that is used here in the denominator calcium divided by the cation exchange capacity of that soil multiplied by 100 so whole value will be multiplied by 100 so let's see according to this table what will be the calcium saturation of the soil so here calcium is on the top so the milli equivalent per 100 gram soil we had calculated that is 10 so that is 10 calcium value divided by the cc so here the cc we had found in the previous lesson that was 17.2 so we'll write 17.2 the unit is milli equivalent per 100 gram of soil multiplied by 100 so the formula is calcium divided by the cc multiplied by the 100 and after solving all this we will get the value as 58 so 58 is in percentage so in this way we will be able to find the calcium saturation or calcium based saturation of any given soil where data is given similarly we should know how to calculate the magnesium saturation of the soil given same data we will take and the formula is almost same the formula is magnesium that is milli equivalent per 100 gram of soil divided by the cc that is the total cation exchange capacity of the soil multiplied by 100 so here what you have to take here magnesium is the second row so here the value is milli equivalent per 100 gram soil that is 2 so 2 divided by the cc which we had calculated that is 17.2 whole multiplied by 100 so after solving that we will get the value that is 12 percentage so 12 every time it will be in percentage so 12 percentage is the magnesium saturation or magnesium based saturation of the soil of this given data so if you haven't checked the previous lessons you will be not getting these points so you should check that video and then you should come here now we'll do some of the important questions which are taken from the sample paper of the gate environmental science and engineering this question is msq that is multiple select question so more than one options can be correct let us read the question first the question is the plastic waste can be used for the following purposes so i'll wait for a certain second then i will reveal the answer so here the correct option will be both these thing that is option a road construction and option b generation of syn gas that is synthetic gas are the usage of plastic waste so plastic waste are used for these things and now we will know that what is this generation of syn gas so syn gas is called as the synthetic gas with the process of gasification that is gasification process when the plastic waste is reacted with the gasifying agent so what are these gasifying agent that can be steam that can be oxygen or air so these are known as the gasifying agent so when this plastic is burned or reacted with this agent at high temperature so the temperature will be how much the temperature in this gasification process will be around 500 to 1300 degree celsius so that is important that is 500 to 13 degree 1300 degree celsius which produces this syn gas so to know more about this we should go to the next slide it is very important according to the syllabus of the environmental science and engineering so here what we'll know syn gas that is synthetic gas is actually a mixture of primarily hydrogen gas carbon monoxide and very often some carbon dioxide are also found so here there is the synthetic gas given but we will know how this syn gases are formed from different process and what are their usage so from syn gas what we can get that is also important so from gas or coal with the help of steam reforming partial oxidation process or gasification process 
this synthetic gas is produced. Similarly, from the biomass, we can generate synthetic gas, that is syngas, with the help of gasification or chemical looping process. Similarly, with the help of sun and wind energy, along with the carbon dioxide and water, with the help of electrolysis or RWGS. So, what is this RWGS? RWGS means reverse water gas shift reaction. So, in this process also, syngas is produced. Then what happens is from syngas, from synthetic gas, what we can get? With the help of water gas shift reaction, same that is WGS, that is RWGS, we can get hydrogen. So, we will get hydrogen. Then what we will use? We can use, for example, to generate ammonia. We can take the help of Haber's process. So, in that case, hydrogen will be used to get ammonia. Similarly, if this syn gas goes through the Fischer trop synthesis, then it will generate synthetic fuel. So, note down all these things, they are very important. Also, if syn gas is reacted with methanol synthesis, then it will give the CH3OH and DME olefins, etc. So, these are the important reactions kindly noted down. So, let's move to the next question. Next concept we'll know. This is actually the numerical which is easy to know but it will be looking very difficult let us read the question first so the question is a sanitary landfill so you can see that many questions are asked from the municipal solid waste so they are very important so sanitary landfill has the following specifications design life of the site is 40 years so for 40 years that site will be working that is the lifetime of the site and msw that is municipal solid waste generation rate is 20 newton per person per day and the municipal solid waste compacted unit weight is 8 kN per meter cube. Average field depth, that is the height of the sanitary landfill, we can say that is 10 meter. And the population of that area is 50,000. So that much people are staying near that site. So the municipal solid waste to cover ratio is given 4 is to 1. We will know one by one what is this. So the question is asking the area required for sanitary landfill will be of how much hectare so we have to find the area of the sanitary landfill and these things are given so how to calculate this we will know in the next slide that is very very easy note down all these steps and concept which will be very helpful i am repeating every time so first of all we will write all the given items so they are very easy to know and here we will know one by one that first given thing is municipal solid waste generation so what is this municipal solid waste total generated in the lifetime of that landfill so lifetime is 40 years so we'll multiply 40 years into 50,000 so what is this 50,000 50,000 is the population so amount of people living there next is 20 20 is the newton per person per day of the municipal solid waste generated per person so 50,000 person into 20 multiplied by 365 so this is 40 years but per day if you count it will be multiplied with 365 days so from here what we will get the value as it will be calculated and you will get the value as 146 into 10 to the power 8 newton per year so that's the value of this then we will get the value of the volume of composed that is the compacted volume that will be how much it will be density that will be density in denominator and mass will be in the numerator so how because volume is equal to mass divided by density and mass we had found that 146 into 10 to the power 8 and density from here it is given 8 kN that's why we will divide by 8000 that is 8k so that is the density so we will write 8000 in the denominator then after solving this we will get the value as 1825000 so that is the value of the VCUMP which we are calculating here that is so here given is equal to volume of the compost divided by the cover is equal to 4 is to 1 so where it is given it is given here that is the municipal solid waste volume to the cover ratio is 4 is to 1 so that's why from here we will get that the cover will be how much so that is the volume of the cover will be 1825000 divided by 4 because we have calculated volume of the compost is 1825000 so in this way we will get the volume of the cover as very very easy 4562 so these are very important note down this number you can calculate on your own also 4562 will be the volume of the cover so now we will calculate the total volume that is volume of the compost plus volume of the cover which we have calculated 456250 then we will get the total volume that is 2281250 then we will calculate the area so area will be how much area is equal to volume by height because volume is equal to area into height we all know similarly area will be 
volume by height. So total volume will be 2281250. We had calculated here by adding the volume of cover to the volume of solid waste that is the compost. Then it will be the device division of 10. Why? Because 10 is the height which I have told earlier. So by solving this, we will get that value as 228125 meter square that is the area. But here that will be not the answer as it is asking in hectares. So 2281250 meter square means it is telling 22.81 hectare. So if you are calculating, converting into hectare, it will be 22.81 hectare by solving this. Then it will be close to the 23 hectare value which is given in the answer key of this sample paper. So in this way we will be able to calculate this kind of question. Very easy, very conceptual. Just we have to know the volume, area, height, relationship. So I hope you have known something new here and subscribe the channel to get further updates and all the best for the examination.